Hi guys, I'm Marty Core, and today I will tell you all there is to know about life skills in The Sims 2. You know, the ones that Sims can learn from books, aside of cooking, cleaning, and mechanical. In free time, there's parenting, and in apartment life, we have fire safety, anger management, lifelong happiness, physiology, and couples counseling. What are the benefits of learning them? What's broken? Where's the catch? Let's find out. Parenting. Sims with the family or knowledge aspiration will usually want to learn this skill right after having a baby. Because that's what it's for. Babies and only babies. Not toddlers, not school kids. Sims that acquired parenting can check on babies to see what they need. The interaction looks like a simple snuggle, but a bubble will appear above the baby's head, indicating the need. Since babies aren't selectable by default and you can't just look at their needs, it seems useful. But this is all it does, it only shows the player what the baby needs. So it's the player's responsibility to do something about that. Sims' autonomy towards babies isn't any smarter. They will still feed them obsessively, never use the changing table and put them on the floor. So it's not really that useful, and I wouldn't say that sims are masters of parenting after learning this. Especially in my gameplay, personally, I don't need this skill because the baby stage in my lifespan is only one day, so there's no point. And I have my own parenting system for babies. I feed them every eight hours right after they poop, and that's enough. And as I always say, don't try that with real-life babies. Fire safety, also known as fire prevention. This is a great way to stop the classic Sims idiocy during fires and the silly panic. Or is it? Okay, it has some effect from what I've seen. When you try to get your Sim away from fire, they go further before they start to panic again, but they do start to panic again and they don't really do anything. So that isn't a big change, this skill does nearly nothing. But fortunately, there's fire mod to help. With this fix, sims who learned fire safety actually don't panic and will attempt to extinguish the fire by themselves. It might seem too heroic maybe even, but at least there is a significant change after your sim takes the time to learn the skill. Anger management. With the nightlife patch, there came Fury, a new feature that makes sims' relationships more complicated. When a sim is cheated on, for example, they will be angry with their spouse and with the other sim for a few days, slowly getting from most negative relationship back to a normal one. They will do mean interactions like slapping or insulting, probably more than they do when they just dislike the sim. So it might make the other sim mad too, and that can eventually break the marriage completely. Neat sims will get mad at sloppy sims for leaving puddles, even if it's just their toddler child playing with the toilet. Yes, sims can be furious with their own children. That's quite realistic when you think about it. The burglar now comes with more consequences of sims being furious at them and wanting to see their ghost. But this is actually a bit broken and leads to the sim eventually having a maxed out relationship with the burglar after Fury stops. So I recommend getting the no relationship with burglar mod because the thief will also call your sim after they rob their house. Because if there's Fury, there has to be a relationship. They have to know each other. So sims can actually meet each other for the first time due to Fury. Anyway, anger management is strictly about fury. It doesn't turn it off completely for the sim who learned the skill, but it greatly decreases the chance of getting furious. And if they do get furious, it wears off faster. So a sim with this skill that is cheated on might not get angry at all, just have the initial relationship loss and it can be a lot easier to rebuild the relationship. Or they can only get furious with one of the sims, which is interesting. Lifelong happiness. When a sim has learned this skill, their aspiration level will take much longer to decay. That's all. Pretty useful for pleasure sims, in my opinion, because I find them the hardest to please, because they often have wants that don't give a lot of points, like playing on the couch or whatever. 
Physiology. First of all, if you have the ultimate collection or apartment life along with mansion and garden stuff, or if you have apartment life and nothing newer than that so that your game wasn't patched after, this life skill is broken in your game. Your sim will max out the body skill in like 3 seconds after learning physiology whenever they exercise in any way. And of course, there is a fix that brings it back to what it should be, which is building body skill reasonably faster, gaining fitness faster, and losing it more slowly when sims happen to overeat. Oh, but just so you know, jump rope doesn't build fitness at all. It only gives the body skill, just in case you were wondering. Couples counseling. Sims who learned it, because apparently you can learn stuff like that from reading one book, some people actually believe that, but yeah, those sims can fix other sims' romantic relationships, if there happens to be a problem. They have access to a new interaction called Repair Relationship With. The couple can't use this skill on their own relationship, of course, because the sim asks both sims and they have to agree for this to work. It's like a whole thing, it takes time. But if one sim cheated, the sim that they cheated with, like the mistress or something, can use this interaction. I find that hilarious. It's hard to do it though because the sim that was cheated on is furious with them and will not agree to do this because a high relationship is required. They have to be like friends or something like that. Sims can decline this proposition. After the interaction succeeds though, the two sims will kiss and the fury will stop and it will also increase their short-term relationship by 20 points. Long term only by a few, from what I've noticed. So you have to do it many times to really fix a cheated relationship because one side will still have a very negative attitude towards the cheater, even with no fury anymore. It doesn't require cheating to be available, the short or long term meter has to be below 30 points for the interaction to appear, which is hard to reach just with negative interactions, you would have to argue a lot. So usually it happens because of cheating. And this life skill, this interaction, will only work on actual official couples. You can't repair a relationship between sims who are only in love, even if at least one of them is still in love. This requires the engagement, marriage, or going steady flag. And yes, you can do it on teenagers. So it's funny how the game has a whole jealousy system for just being in love, so that Don Lothario and the Calientes can stir things up, but it doesn't actually consider being in love a relationship. Sure, life skills came years after the base game, but that's still a tiny bit inconsistent, isn't it? So that's it. It's not really that much, it's not really that big of a video, but honestly, I learned a few things when I was researching this. So I hope you learned something as well. And as always, Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe, and subscribe, like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye!